What's up guys, I'm Salty Mike, and this is your Star Citizen Week in Review for August 30th, 2021. We had a small roadmap update from Star Citizen this week, as well as a sprint report with space whales in it, and Xenothreat is here, and it's polarizing. All this and more on today's Week in Review. And as always, if this is your first week in review, this is where I take all of the official news from Star Citizen and put it into one video condensed for you to follow along with the project. And if you haven't checked out my live stream yet, I do live stream every day but Monday so I can get this video out to you on twitch.tv slash salty Mike. So make sure you stop by, say hello, and uh, yeah, tell me about what you thought about this week's news. So jumping right into it, we do not have any patch notes this week, so we're going to start out with Roadmap Roundup. And... They start out with things added to the progress tracker, but it's not as interesting as it may seem. We're going to start out with player reflection. So it's when you look into the mirror, it should be realistic and look back at you normally. Again, this is planned for Q2 2022. Lean over cover. It's just simply adding the animations for needing to get leaning over cover and shooting over cover uh, done. Like another Q2 22. And System Broadcaster, it's a server announcer. I wonder if this is for dynamic events, or may we actually have stable servers at some point where the game needs to communicate downtime and news to you? No, we know that's not going to happen, so I'm interested in seeing what this is. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think it is. Destructible environments, I thought this would have been related to like the old Star Marine discussions and destruction that they talked about, but it seems related to plants and foliage and, I don't know, maybe planet-wide ecological issues? It's, it's very interesting, this one. And then rivers, roads, and basins. They renamed them and split them. So rivers and basins are now one job and roads are another. Um, people seemed really focused on the rivers this week. If you saw some thumbnails and things like that from other YouTubers. But in, in general, I think the more interesting one is the roads. Now, rivers are planned for the end of the year and roads are planned for sometime next year. Um, for me, roads have a lot more function to them than rivers do in a video game, so I'm very excited to what they have planned for them and how we're going to use them. Then moving on to added to release view stuff, they had the laser trip mine added. It's a very simple description. If you cross the laser, the mine will explode, uh, and it's planned for 3.16. Things committed for 3.15 are bombs. Uh, that's like the A2 bomb on the Hercules. Loot generation, which I think we all know I'm very excited to see the first... I guess it's more anticipated than excited. See the first implementation of loot generation. Give the feedback that I've probably been giving all along and saying please make the items that are in the loot generation actually matter. <laughs> so I'm excited to see how it works. I'm nervous that it's not going to be enough. Uh, they also say Arsel have uh, the updated Broken Moon and Infiltrate and Defend missions. For Infiltrate and Defend, uh, I'm very excited for that because this is really sounding like some of the first real missions that have been worked on in quite some time aside from the dynamic events from the mission team. So I'm really excited to see what they bring in 3.15. Uh, for video updates, we had an ISC and an SEL this week. Starting out with ISC, they have the origin story for Justin Chambers. And as we approach Citizen Con, we're going to be doing a lot of this type of content, which is just something I'm personally not a fan of, uh, is the uh, filler kind of stuff. But I enjoyed this one, and I thought it was more because it gave details on how they make ISC, which I think I am somewhat critical of sometimes, and it gave me more insight in how involved it is, how early they work on the schedules, which is the most important thing, which determines what they discuss each week, which is usually what we're critical about. So there's a lot more information on how that works, and I did really appreciate it. Then there was also a sprint report. So they start out with the Hurston Hospital Maria Pure of Heart. They show us a general white box tour of it. It is much longer than we're going to show in the clip on this video, so make sure you check out the link for ISC in the description down below. Then they show hacking port concepts. So instead of the box that they showed previously, um, they tried recessed versions that can be also in floors and things like that. They showed a player briefly hacking a fine terminal in a concept art, and we're going to learn about the gameplay about this, Jared said, 
after 315 is released. So he said in the next quarter, so as we're approaching 316, I assume we're going to see some stuff about this. Maybe CitizenCon, who knows. Uh, then we moved on to Nix System Flora. Again, more white box stuff. And since we don't have Pyro and we've seen their Flora for quite some time, I'm not paying much mind to this, and I don't think you should either. Geology assets for Nix, as well as height maps, were also shown. Just general stuff for Nix that looks pretty cool. For the height maps, they're supposed to be the moons and planets, or I guess the moons or asteroids around Nix, are, are all mined out. So that's just how the look they're going for is, and they're showing kind of those cascading height maps that you see in uh, quarries and things like that on Earth. Vulture White Box. So this is coming along slowly, but it is probably one of, for me, and I think a lot of people in the Star Citizen community, monumental things that are going on in the development right now because it brings possibly with it salvage and salvage is majorly anticipated has been delayed for i believe years now and i hope it goes really well so the ship is important but the functionality is even more so so looking forward to hearing more about that more on drake we had a hud update they said there's tons of different versions of these nothing is set in stone um they look pretty cool I thought somewhat hard to read. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And then the IAE logo, uh, yeah, nothing crazy here. I mean, they look pretty similar, but they're just going for a different feel. I think it's on Crusader this year, right? So which one do you guys think maybe makes the most sense for that? More Crusader stuff, atmospheric pressure damage. They showed what it looks like for a player to experience it and for a vehicle to experience, but this is just designer art. So now everything, now that it's working, I guess, is gonna move into VFX to make it look really cool. And then lastly, uh, as we clued in the intro of the video, there were some Space Whale concepts, not actual stuff that's in game, more just visual concepts. And uh, yeah, I imagine this is gonna be a huge undertaking. I don't expect to see it for a while, and I don't pay much mind to things that are that far away, but, Sounds like fun gameplay if it ever happens. Then we had a Star Citizen Live about the Fire Rats, the, a gang from Pyro, and how they're going to concept and what the character looks like. This is actually unique. This was one of a few game devs videos that they, like, they came up with a gang on one of these game dev videos, I guess with lore, and it actually stuck and made it in game for the pyro system for their pirates and uh yeah so this is basically the character team or jeremiah of the character team going through and concepting what these guys might look like i thought it was pretty pretty cool so feel free to check it out uh, again links are in the description down below lastly other updates we had xenothreat so Xenothreat V2 Post. Uh, they're just giving details basically on the mechanics of it. Uh, basically, the first phase is just, hey, uh, the announcement phase. And then the second phase is everything of the previous Xenothreat combined into one. Um, I plan on doing a, I guess, a feedback video of it midweek. I was trying to do something for Sunday, but it just... Guys, I'm so sorry. I am slammed in real life and I really apologize we're not getting out the kind of content that I want to put out for you guys and I, I hope you're not too upset with the lack of or quality of content that I'm putting out right now. Then we had a Xeno feedback thread. Uh, yes, so make sure you guys get in these because it's combined with Ninetales. I thought Ninetales was pretty not good. I think Xeno is pretty good to clue you into what I'm going to be saying in that video later in the week. Xenothreat rewards the armor. Uh, a lot of people are upset, upset about this, and I think rightfully so. This is supposed to be kind of the best Tam, whatever you want to call it, thing, and it's not going to be if this is how we approach major milestone events like this, uh, especially in-game events. The rewards, the driving force behind the event, is the reason to do them, is a reskin of a reskin of a reskin. It's just not good enough. It's not acceptable. Then lastly, we had a Galactopedia update. Uh, the full length video was on the Plain Truth, which is like a lore post. And then most of the other articles, as always, are just locations. So feel free to check those out. And guys, that'll do it for this week. It's a short video, not a lot of updates to go through for Star Citizen. ISC was pretty lacking. SCL was more of a, if you're into this stuff, check it out. So yeah, make sure you leave a like. 
need those likes and comments and subscribe subscriptions down below to keep us relevant i guess in the youtube al algorithm but in general um i just really guys i appreciate the fact that you guys really enjoy these videos when i was doing the xeno threat event uh, I was typing in chat to people to try and organize, hey, we got to go over here, we got to do this. And a lot of people recognized me from the YouTube videos and said really positive comments. And uh, yeah, it was just really nice to see. So just want to say for a moment, I appreciate you guys. So thank you so much and we'll see you next week.